The desert is where Morocco increasingly appears to be betting on its energy future. The North African state has embarked on a major project to produce around 40% of its energy needs, powered by the sun. The possibilities from up on high are seen as huge, but also vital for a country which, unlike many of its close neighbours, has no oil resources of its own. But it's not only Morocco that could reap the rewards. Europe may also in the future be able to tap into Morocco's vast solar energy potential. This power plant near the Algerian border has come to represent both the good and bad of Morocco's energy transformation. The facility uses both fossil and renewable energy to generate power. The plant is a bit special. It's among one of the biggest in the world. We use three systems to generate electricity, gas turbines, steam and solar. The solar field gives us 20 megawatts of electricity. At total charge, it produces 470 megawatts. The trouble is, the plant is still nowhere near full capacity. It has led to criticism over the project's entire feasibility. To operate, the site needs natural gas, currently taken from a pipeline running between Algeria and Spain. The global economic crisis, however, means it's only half full because of a major drop in Spanish demand. It means Morocco's share of gas, about 7%, has been substantially cut. Poor diplomatic relations with Algeria don't help either. On the day we visit, the plant is producing around 150 megawatts. Therein lies the problem. For the solar panels to work, the gas power generation needs to be pumping out at least 220 megawatts. In short, in spite of the impressive technology on hand, next to no solar power is being produced. The result is that Morocco still has to import much of its electricity from Spain. It's led to major questions being asked about combining solar and gas. Some argue it could actually increase the country's energy dependence rather than reduce it. It's something the director of the plant is aware of. Without gas, we're not able to use the solar panels correctly. That is clear. One of the big problems for Morocco in regards to electricity production is the kingdom's lack of natural resources, in particular oil. In addition, Morocco is hugely dependent on other countries for its energy, currently estimated to be a massive 96%. It means internal electricity production is next to nothing. To remedy this reliance on energy importation, Rabat has decided to say goodbye to gas solar plants. From now on, the new generation of power stations being built should almost entirely run on energy drawn from the sun. The plan should save some 400 million euros a year. The latest project involves building five solar power stations across the country providing some 2,000 megawatts by 2020. From a Moroccan point of view, solar energy provides many advantages. Morocco needs more and more energy. Using solar enables it to produce electricity rather cheaply. And from a European perspective, this investment plan will also create new jobs in Europe. Investment in the project over the next 10 years is expected to be around 8 billion euros, with much of the scientific know-how coming from Europe and the US. By concentrating the sun's rays, the mirrors boil water, which in turn powers turbines. That is good news for the planet, as it generates electricity without emitting the harmful greenhouse gases blamed for climate change. Morocco's ambitions also fit into a wider European-African context. Other Maghreb states and the EU have committed to a plan to massively increase the amount of renewable energy they produce. 
At the same time, Europe and Africa are trying to find better and more efficient ways to connect their national networks. The eventual aim will be to create a giant supergrid, providing easy access to renewable energy. The countries rich in sun supplying their northern neighbours in Europe. But it's not all about production. Reducing household energy consumption is also seen as crucial. One effective way to conserve power is through more solar water heaters. Within two years, the goal is to steadily increase the number of heaters in homes. By 2020, the government hopes the devices will cover some 1.7 million square meters. One trader in the northeast of Morocco says he's seen a steady rise in the number of people buying appliances. It's been about a year and a half since we really started to sell these ultra-modern solar water heating systems. Now we sell between four and six per month. There's a strong demand. People are coming more and more to buy these kinds of ecological installations. But if Morocco is to satisfy its future needs, many say it needs to move fast, with electricity consumption expected to increase significantly in the next 20 years. In the countryside, a solar panel can provide a credible alternative to a diesel-powered generator. After taking advice from a friend, Hamid, a farmer, set up a solar panel to light up his home. Running for three years now, he says the device has proved to be much cheaper to run. The sun is better than a generator. Once directed towards the sun, the solar panels do all the work. When that happens, I'm free and have nothing to do. Back at the thermal and solar power plant, technicians carry out a safety drill in case the main turbine should fail. Once fully operational, it's thought it could save around 4 million tonnes of CO2 a year. For that reason, the project is attracting international and European money. Despite being one of the EU's poorest southern neighbours, Morocco's political stability means it also continues to see a steady flow in foreign investment particularly in the energy sector. Hamza, one of the plant's technicians, believes the kingdom's solar revolution will mean his son will have the chance to live in a cleaner, more environmentally friendly Morocco. At the moment, I think Morocco buys electricity. I think in 10 or 20 years, however, it's going to produce enough electricity and sell it to other countries. And within a few years, that dream should become reality, as Morocco leads the way in harnessing the power of the sun.